So hello YouTubers, my name is Akodi Chuku Okonkwo again. Okay, today we're going to be talking about a headphone I just got some time ago, the QCY headphone model H2. QCY headphone model H2. Actually, the, I got this uh, headphone when I saw you know saw it somewhere on youtube and it looks very cute and at a discount price i saw it with one of our online shops and decided to get it so today we're going to unbox it and see what we got inside and also see if it has a good sound so i'm going to quickly open it up and show you what i have you can see it wrapped in a white nylon let's keep that aside and let's see what we have in the box we have a, a manual a manual with all the instructions okay then we have a tiny box with um, USB USB C there. Okay. And, and that's all we have inside. So let's keep the box aside. Then we'll go to the headphone. So I want to remove this headphone from the nylon cover so and that is what it looks like Ta -da! and you can see it goes in like that so when you're wearing it you can decide to keep it face down and that will be comfortable on your neck you can decide also to keep it this way it's your choice but from the build quality actually looks very solid nicely built except for just the fact that it's plastic all through it's plastic but the design is so cool i like the sleek design the shape of this thing here it's so it's nice and i like this soft stuff the the shape of it is so nice it just looks so beautiful and that's one good thing and that was one of the reasons why i got it okay so let's go to the pictures okay i think this one has a it has a a button here something for bars or so then there are two other two buttons at the back the three buttons actually the plus and minus buttons then the power button in between what they call the mfb button here from the manual it's called the mfb button where you can uh, pick a call drop a call power on and so on okay so then it has a it has a usb c port here for charging then on the other side it has absolutely nothing everywhere is smooth you can see okay so then the other question is how does it fit on the head okay so i'll wait now to see what it looks like on your head and that's what it looks like i don't know what you think but i just love the way it looks on the head yeah i'm not a fashion person i don't take this out for any reason i most of my headphones are for listening to podcasts listening to youtube for some 
important uh, informations and tutorials that's what i usually use this for so then this also comes with an app the qcy app for h1 headset like this sorry i have the there's a qr code on it for you to scan and go to the app right here a qr code there but i try to log into the app and then i i was required to register and login of which i'm not ready to share my login details with multiple people so i didn't really disturb myself with that but i, I think with that app you can be able to unlock a lot of things about this headset but there's one thing that disappointed me about this headset should i say it okay now there is no 3.5 millimeter input input port on this headphone so if i want to use this headphone as a wired headset there's no way i can i can't even use it with the usb-c so i think that has destroyed one of the main reasons why i might be using this very often because i would have been able to use it with my microphone here my zero sound microphone right now just fix it there and put the the wired cord but it's not compatible with this so that's one of the downsides and i've been able to listen to music with this uh, headset and uh, from my own judgment the music is so immersive it's as if you're in this uh, in the hall where the music is being produced it's so crystal clear the lows are there the mids are there the highs are there it's not like they are not overbearing like the music seems balanced just like a little bit of um echoey just a little bit not the punchy bass but considerable bass you know considerable bass and that's all the headphone is just beautiful and it's something you can use as a daily driver to listen to music besides it says it boosts over 60 hours of play, music time play time then charging hours of two hours if you can use this for 60 hours i'm not really sure it's 60 hours i've not really tried it but it looks like it's going to be something to consider you know listening to music for 60 hours of battery life that would be incredible but i don't know if that's the case if you try and you think it works please tell me in the comment section thank you for coming around this is teclum again and I'm about to review something else, so stick around for the next video, alright? See you. Peace.